And English people are always like, Simon, the thing about Canadians that's so nice is Canadians are so polite and so nice. That's the thing about Canadians is they're so nice and so polite. Some of them, not all of them. You ever been to Northern Alberta? There's some fucking psychos in this country. Like, and if anybody here happens to not know about Northern Alberta, that's where we keep our Southerners. It's a fucking, it's insane up there. Go an hour north of fucking Fort Mac and see the people. And that's the funny thing, you know you're in Northern Alberta because you hear this sound. Oh, that's the fucking sound of the Northern Alberta redneck. Oh, that's their main call. You just hang out at a Canadian brew house around right about 2 a.m. See a bunch of chads come in, just oh, oh, oh. And then that chick with bolt on tits who went up there to see if she could grab herself some guy who works on the chain and makes 300 grand a year and spends it on cocaine and whores just sitting in the back going oh and, oh, oh, and they fucking mash their genitals together and make another rig pig that's where they come from just a factory oh, 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 just that guy and no one else in the world understands that you guys had conversations with rig pigs that no words have been said and I know what the fuck they're saying like, oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, you know yeah, oh, hey, Bob, Bob, right? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Like, <laughs> they always try to give you shots because they try and kill you with booze. They're the fucking best. That's who we should send to fight ISIS. Never mind troops. We should send one guy named Gord. Just in a fucking, just in a bad mood because the oil prices went down and he can no longer afford the good cocaine. You know, like that guy just pissed off because he had to sell one of his speedboats to buy another fucking speedboat so we can go to Kelowna every summer and drive around all fuck just like listening to shitty music on a sound bar at 3 o'clock still drinking Jagermeister even though he's 52 and he's lost one of his feet from diabetes that guy just fucking angry just shows up he says with the F-150 with the fucking chrome pack there but we're fucking giving her like that guy and right before we kick him out of a plane over eastern Syria, we'll be like, they think the Oilers suck! What the fuck? <laughs> Just hits the ground, dragging a broken lacrosse stick in the desert with his skates on so he can hunk it down a fucking river like that guy. Just mad out of his mind. <laughs> Spends all his money on playstations and sits inside his house all day. Just dreaming of his lost youth because he knocked up a waitress day one when he was working on the rig. And now he's fucking stuck up there. He's just mad. He's all oh, fuck. Like that guy. Just the guy. And ISIS will be behind a sand dune. And they'll be like, we're going to attack this base. And in the distance they'll hear, oh, oh fuck Canadians. It's Gord. He just shows up with a chain over his t-shirt holding a riot each hand. Oh, he's fucking talking about UFC. I could fucking take him, but but my knee, like that guy. Just mad because he got sand in his ice cap. I don't normally drink the fruit fruit drinks, bud, but I got hooked on it when the wife was recovering from her third boob job. I love her and shit, but I gotta pump those fuckers up. I got strong hands. I work on the chain. You know that fucking guy. It's one Canadian, just a fucking gourd. <laughs> Weirdly, that joke doesn't work in France. I don't know why. <laughs>